Hey guys, this is John Carnell, and I'm here with a, another dev drop for July and a continuation of our Archie conversation. Now, in the last dev drop, I showed you guys how to take Archie, our command line tool for exporting and importing uh, Genesis Architect flows into a human readable format and how to set up and configure it. However, that's all we did. We walked through, we set up the downloading, the unzipping, and some of the basic configuration. So what I wanna do now is I wanna walk through on how to take the flow that you're looking at here, which is really just a simple email flow where you, you're calling a data action, doing a call to a REST endpoint. You're basically then going out and looking at the results. I wanna show you how to take that and use Archie to export that into a YAML format. We're gonna walk through a couple of different configuration options because if you remember in the last video, all I did was show you how to set up the default profile for Archie. Now what I want to do is I want to go through and not only show you how to use the export with the default profile, but also how to use uh, what's called an options file and how to pass in commands via the command line parameter. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back to that Vagrant instance out there. And I'm going to change my Archie directory. And everything's all set up and configured. If you want to see how to set up a Archie and configure it, I would recommend that you watch uh, the previous video on this. But now what I want to do is I want to go out and I want to export Archie and the Archie flow that we were looking at. And to do that, I'm going to use the Archie export command and I'm going to pass in three parameters, dash dash flow name and dash dash flow type. The flow name is the name of the flow. The type is the, the type of the flow that's being sent, like an inbound email flow, an inbound call flow, so on and so forth. Now, the reason why you have to pass in both the flow name and the flow type it is, is because it's possible in Genesis Cloud to have two different flows with the exact same name. So in order to establish uniqueness, you have to present the flow name and the flow type. Now, the export type equals YAML is really so that we are telling Archie, hey, we want this flow to be exported in a YAML format. And the reason for this is in previous versions of Archie, Archie uh, only exported the flows in a binary format. You get a binary file, you couldn't look at it, you couldn't uh, uh, templatize it or be able to do any kind of value injection in it to uh, make it easy to promote across environments. So the Archie team recently uh, release the ability to import and export into YAML. And so we just have to tell Archie how to uh, do that. So let's go ahead and run this command and see what happens here. Now, Archie is taking uh, the configuration that I've already set up uh, earlier in the last video with my client ID and client secrets, and it's basically run. So if you look, Archie's gone out and it said, okay, I exported this. Here is the the flow name and where it's located, it puts it in our default directory that we set up during configuration called uh, Archie Home. It's the export type is YAML. And then it gives you some basic information about the flow ID, the inbound and the latest. Now it is very possible you can specifically export a specific version of Archie, but we're just grabbing the latest that we have out here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a real quick look at said flow and let's see what the heck got exported here. All right, awesome. So what you're looking at here is basically the, the human readable text and all the values associated with what you saw in the UI format. Now, what I can do is I can go out here and manually change these values. If I have to change values specific to the environment, uh, I can use what's called an Archie uh, substitution. Uh, and you can read about that on the Archie pages where I can say, hey, I wanna parameterize these values and I wanna inject them. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep going down the route of showing you how to use Archie now um, to export the flow. Now, what happens if I don't want to write my Archie flow uh, to my default directory? Let's say I have a target directory I want to be able to write it to. So the way I can do that is I can go out and oh, let me grab my Archie config here. Hmm. Apparently, it doesn't want to remember my Archie command. So let's just go ahead and run it again. But this time I'm gonna pass in the dash dash output dir. And I'm gonna say, I wanna put this file 
right into this directory uh, where I'm running it. All right, so we're going to go ahead, or she's going to run. And now if we look, this time, my YAML file has been created in the directory that I ran it from. Now, I could put that output directory to anything I want. So let's go ahead and run this again. And you're going to see an error this time. And the reason you're going to see an error is because there's already a, a file out there with the same uh, file name and the same version uh, defined in your directory. So Archie throws an error and says, whoa, whoa, I can't do anything here. But I can uh, be able to go ahead and either remove the file or I can pass in a force command and force Archie to override the file that's already there. So Archie kind of protects you to make sure that if you're working locally on something, you don't accidentally overwrite uh, something that you've been working on manually locally. All right, so that is using our Archie, uh, Archie with our default configuration. Notice in here, at no point did we ever go out and set up, uh, you know, these are the credentials I want, because we did that earlier and they were put in our dash Archie directory, our Archie config directory. And you can see those in your home directory under Archie config. Right? There's a file out there with all those parameters in there. However, Archie does provide you two other mechanisms to be able to go and pass parameters in. The first mechanism is to use what's called an export file. And so, or an options file, excuse me. So let's go ahead and create an options file out here. Let's call it myoptions.yaml. And I'm going to insert all my client IDs. Now I do need to create uh, and replace these with different client IDs because these are using slightly different old things from my notes. So let's go out here and let's delete uh, my client ID and my client secret. But what you'll see is I'm gonna put these values out here. And these were the values that I could have set in my default profile. Now this means I could run Archie without a default profile at all. But let's go ahead and just uh, go through this. Sorry, my Vi skills are a little rusty. You think after 20 years, I would remember how to use Vi. All right. And this time when we run Archie, we're going to say, okay, we're gonna leave the force command out there, but this time I'm gonna run option file, and then the path and file name to where my options file was located. All right, so in this case, it's going to be my options.yaml. Oh, looks like I probably misspelled that. Yep, I did. So let's go ahead and put yaml, and let's go ahead and run it. And this time, Archie is going to read all of its connection information and credentials uh, out of a file. Now you can see where this is very useful because for instance, you might have different configuration and setup by environment that you wanna be able to run Archie in. And by putting all of that configuration information in there, uh, you're gonna be able to basically externalize your environment configuration, your credentials, and your configuration of how you want things to go inside of your options file. Options files are also where you can templatize Archie and inject values into your Archie file. All right, the last thing I wanna be able to do is I'm gonna show you how to pass Archie commands directly on the command line or Archie credentials directly on the command line. And again, I have to go back to um, my client credential here. So let's go ahead and, oops, sorry, in the wrong window. Let's go ahead and flip out my client ID and my client secret. So I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna add in my client ID. And I am going to add in my client secret, bear with me. Also passing in my location and my output dir. And let's just add a dash dash force on here. 
document, all right? And so again, I'm gonna go out and it's gonna run, but this time it's reading all of its client credential information off of the command line along with all the options. So I really uh, strongly encourage you guys to go ahead and look at the developer that Genesis Cloud website and you can find Archie underneath our dev tools or dev apps. And there is a whole slew of commands and parameters. So this is a great place to start. I would encourage you beyond this video to read it because pretty much everything I'm showing you is also documented out here. All right, you guys. So in the next dev drop I'm gonna be putting together, I'm gonna to show you how to take that export at YAML flow and actually import it now into an entirely new organization. And that should be pretty cool because that's really the first steps of being able to build out uh, kind of like a continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline. So as always, we welcome feedback and comment and requests for new co uh, content. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me to, on the forum. But otherwise, thanks and everybody have a great day.